Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the most smallest data science resume that I've actually seen in my life. And uh, this is with just not respect to the one pager resume, but it is also with respect to the content. Again, remember guys, this video is not for fun. You know, this video is not actually insulting the candidate who has sent this particular resume, but to basically make you understand and this resume that you see is of a fresher because just by seeing it I can definitely relate it why I may wanted to make this particular video is that because if you see the content of this particular resume anyhow I have hidden the person name over here so that it should not be visible through to the people who are actually looking for this particular video even his photo is actually disabled over here I put a white screen all the information I have actually disabled but just check out this particular resume because this actually shows that how much interest the person is to get a job. If he is using this specific resume for getting the job, trust me, you will never even get a call. Now over here, what I could see, personal profile, education history, technical skills, certification completed. That's it. And what I feel is that apart from technical skills, if I am a recruiter, I'll not even have a look onto the, I'll not even see this particular resume. After one role, I'll just remove it. Now, this is the problem guys, with respect to freshers, you really need to get serious. With this kind of resume, you will definitely not get call. See, I'm not bragging about myself guys. I'm actually bringing some suggestions for you all so that you don't make any kind of mistakes like this. So the person whose resume this is, definitely I'll ping him later in the LinkedIn and tell him all the suggestions that I can okay but please don't write all this particular information only this many information no as a fresher also you need to focus on end-to-end -end project you need to focus on internships you need to focus on different competitions you have participated you, you need to focus on different types of contribution that you have done in the open source community just by writing four to five certification know where you'll stand and with the help of this certification they'll instead pull your leg like anything because just by seeing this I definitely cannot understand that what skill set you actually have. Okay. Now this is really a serious issue for a fresher. Please try to focus more on the work that you have actually done and try to display that particular work. Trust me certification at the last you can write it, which you have written it over here, but without writing much content about your project. So you just tell me guys how much marks you would like to give this particular resume. But definitely I'll have a talk to this particular guy in LinkedIn also. Okay, because just by seeing this, he'll be able to understand his resume is really bad. Okay, and you need to really improve it. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to make a videos. Now, from past one week, I have actually seen more than 200 plus resumes. I'll tell you what are the common mistakes, what the people have actually made and how they can actually keep a proper resume format keep the proper resume content for applying jobs and that is the reason why people do not get jobs because definitely what content you are actually writing is completely different you know out of i'll say the out of scope itself because obviously the recruiter will just see and they'll move on so i hope you like this particular video please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel press the bell notification icon i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye